So when you're multiplying a binomial by a trinomial, it's the same thing essentially as how we multiplied monomials by a binomial or a trinomial. The steps are always the same. So you're gonna draw a box, you're gonna label the sides, and then you're gonna find the area of each box. Same thing here. You draw your box, you label the side, you find the area, and then you add up all the boxes. So same thing when we're doing a binomial times a trinomial. The only difference is now we have a parentheses with two terms, and then we have a parentheses with one, two, three terms. So that's why we're gonna use a two by three box. Okay, I just saw the chats right now. Do you guys want me to skip this assignment, the two by three? Let's see, because, no, okay, <laughs> some of us are now, okay. So um, those of you, if you guys already did page 62 and 63, you can just stay on, but you can do work on other work and then just pay attention when we get to the next, to today's assignment. Okay. So we have x minus five, and then we have three x squared minus five x minus one. So our two, our x minus five is gonna go on our side with two boxes. So we have x minus five, and then our three terms is gonna go on our side with three boxes. Three x squared minus five x plus one. So far, nothing different. Draw our boxes, label our sides, then we're gonna multiply to find the area of each box. So essentially you're just doing two one by three boxes. So X times three X squared. Now we're multiplying three X's. So it's X to the third power. Then X times negative five X, which is negative five X squared and X times one, which is just X or one X. questions how I got this top row? Nope. Okay, so then now let's find the bottom row. So we kind of ignore this one. And now we're going to multiply negative 5 times 3x squared. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 5x is positive 25x. And then negative five times one is negative five. Okay, any questions how I got any of these values in any of these six boxes? Okay, so now that we found the area of each box, now we just need to um, combine our like terms. So we have an x squared here and we have an x squared here. So those we're gonna combine. And then we have an x here and an x here. So we can also combine those. And remember we write our answer from the highest power to the lowest power. So we have a power of three, so that's gonna go first, three x to the third power. Then we're gonna to go to the power of two, which we have like terms. So we're gonna combine these. So negative five X squared minus 15 X squared, which is negative 20 X squared. And then 25 X plus one X, there would be 26 X's. And then our minus five. Okay, so I have a question. How did I get negative 15x squared? Good. So this box, the um, length is negative 5, and the width is this top one right here, 3x squared. So I multiply negative 5 times 3x squared. And so negative five times um, three is negative 15. And then we still have our X squared. So that's how I got negative 15 X squared for this box. Let me know if that, if you're, you still have a question on that, that didn't help. 
Any other questions? Okay, good. Okay, let's go ahead and do number two. So I'll, I'll help you get it set up and then I'll let you guys try it. So again, we're multiplying two things. All of them are gonna just be two by three boxes. So we're multiplying a binomial by trinomial. So our two terms go on the side with two, r plus two, and then our three terms go on the side with three boxes, five r squared minus r plus five. Okay, and then I want you to go ahead and try it. So go ahead and find the area of all of the boxes. So remember, you're just finding the area of each box. So we're just, you're looking at each box individually. So the area of a rectangle is you always multiply the length times the width. So like in number one, we got three X cubed because we multiplied the length, which was X times the width, which is three X squared. So you can kind of use your hands and cover them up if you just wanna, if it gets overwhelming looking at um, all of the boxes at once. Okay, do I have any volunteers that want to tell me what they got? Will someone volunteer and tell me what they got inside all the boxes for number two? This is Savannah Gill, I could do it. Okay, thanks Savannah. Just give me one second to grab that problem. Um, okay. Um, can I just tell you what my overall answer was? And then, I mean, yeah. It, can you just, how, oh, did you not do the boxes? I didn't really do the boxes. I kind of like, I, oh. I, I kind of got it down. So I, I didn't do the box. Okay. I have a problem. Yeah, you can tell me the answer. I'm sorry. Um, I think this is the right problem. It's 5R by the third power plus 9R to the second power plus 3R um, plus 10. Okay. So let's see how Savannah got that answer. <laughs> so. We multiply and find the area of each box. So we have r times 5r squared, which is 5r cubed. Then for this box, we have to multiply r times negative r, which is negative r squared. And then r times 5 for this box, which is 5r. And then 2 times 5r squared is 10r squared. 2 times negative r is negative 2r. And 2 times 5 is 10. And then we have to combine our like terms. So 
So that's how we got 5r cubed, very good. And then we have 10r squared, take away 1r squared, which leaves us with 9r squared, very good. And then we have 5r, take away 2r, we're left with 3r and 10. So very good, that is the correct answer. Excellent, Savannah. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and do number three and four, and then we'll move on to the next, to today's assignment. Okay, so we have 2x minus 2. We have 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. All right, I'm going to go in order, in the order that Zoom has you guys listed. So this first box, we have 2x times 3x squared. So what's the area of this box? Amari, you're first. Um, you multiply the 3x squared by 2x? Yep. Okay, so it's 6 um, x squared. Close. So we have x squared or multiplying by another x. So how many x's are there? Oh, yeah. x, uh, x squared 3. Or... Okay. Yep, x to the third power. Very good. Thanks, Amari. Okay, yeah. this next box, Bella, what did you get for this box? 2x times negative 2x. Um, I got negative 4x squared. Excellent. Thank you. And then 2x times 5 for this box, Esmeralda. No, Esmeralda. Jaden, what did you get for what what did you get for this box? 2x times 5. Yep. Thank you. 10x. Excellent. And Kaleni, this box, negative two times three X squared gives us Kaleni, no. Five. Oh, no problem. It's negative six X squared. Excellent. Thank you. And then this box, we have negative two times negative two X. Savannah, what would we put in this box? Sorry, Savannah Contreras. What would you put in this box? We have two Savannas. Um, negative four X? Close. We, we have a negative times a negative, so that's just going to be a positive 4x. Good. Oh. Thank you. And um, Solomon, for this box, we have negative 2 times 5. Maybe Solomon's not here. Tiana, what did, oh, he, he sent it in the chat. Perfect. Negative 10. Very good. Okay, so then we just need to add up our boxes and make sure we combine our like terms. So we'll circle our like terms so that we know, and then we start with the highest power. So we have 6x cubed, and then we have negative 6x squared minus 4x squared. So that's negative 10x squared. And then we have 4x plus 10x, which is 14x's minus 10. And we are on page 62, if you just joined us. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do number four. So we have 3v plus 5, and then 5v squared plus 4v plus 2.
Okay, so just for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and go through it and you can check your answers. So 3v times 5v squared. So 3 times 5 is 15 and we have v squared times another v. So there's three v's. And then we have 3v times 4v. 3 times 4 is 12v times v, that's 2v. So v squared. 3v times 2 is 6v. 5 times 5 is 25, and there's a v squared. 5 times 4v is 20v, and 5 times 2 is 10. Any questions how I got any of those values in the boxes? OK, so then we combine our v squareds and our v's. And then we have 15 v to the third power, 25 v squared plus 12 v squared is 37 v squared, 20 v plus 6 v, there's 26 v's plus 10. Okay, any questions on number um, four? Okay, so if you haven't finished, if you hadn't already done this assignment, you will need to go ahead and practice and complete um, number five, six, seven, and eight on page 63. We have other people that are ready to um, go on to the next. So are there any questions on how to do the binomial times the trinomial before I move on? Nope. All right. Oh, we have a question. Okay, so someone asked, how do I get the final answer? So how do I get here? So I'm just adding up all of the boxes is how I get this answer. So I could write it all out, 15 V cubed plus 12 V squared plus six V plus 25 V squared plus 20 V plus 10. So you're just adding up all six boxes. I was saving a step by just circling the like terms just to make it less work, but um, you can write it out and then we just combine like the V squared and the V squared. Remember we can use our boxes and then circle our V's of our like terms. And then we would just simplify. So we would have 15 V cubed and then we can combine our boxes which is 12v squared and 25v, so that's 37v squared. And then 6v plus 20v, which is 26v, and then 10. So you're, you're just adding up all the boxes. And they're gonna require simplifying. So you, you have to combine the like terms, which is we were doing both at the same time. So adding the like terms as we were adding up all the boxes. Or if you want, you can do it two steps here. Add up all six boxes and then identify your like terms and then simplify. Okay, perfect. Good questions. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip to page 64 which is your assignment for today. So the perimeter application. So perimeter, remember the perimeter is you add up all sides. So it's the distance around the outside. And so to find the perimeter, you just add up all the sides. So let's just do like a really simple one. So say this side was two and this side was five and we wanted to find the perimeter. Well, just because two sides are labeled doesn't mean we just add the two and the five and say the perimeter is seven. So we have to add up all the sides. So you wanna label this side. If this side's two, then we know this side's two because it's a rectangle. If this side's five, then we know this side's five. And then to find the perimeter, 
we would add two plus five plus two plus five. Two plus five is seven, seven plus two is nine, nine plus five is 14. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 14. If you understand this, then it's exactly the same for this. We just have variables, but we're gonna do the exact same steps. So any questions on how I found the perimeter of this rectangle that I just drew before I move on? Okay, so to find the perimeter for number one, we need to add up all the sides. So if this side's three X plus two, we wanna label this side as three X plus two. So we remember to add that. And then if this side's two X minus five, and we know that this side is also 2x minus 5. So that's the first thing you want to do is make sure you label all the sides. And then you're just going to go ahead and add all these up. So perimeter equals 2x minus 5 plus 3x plus 2 plus 2x minus 5 plus 3x plus 2. And now it's just identifying like terms, which is what we started with um, the very first um, lesson in this unit. So we can box all of our X's. So we have two X, we have three X. And remember we box the sign with it. So it's a positive three X, a positive two X and a positive three X. So those are all like terms. And then we have negative five, which we can circle positive two negative five and positive two, which are all like terms. So then we can add all of our squares. So two X plus three X is five X plus two X is seven X plus three X is 10 X's total. And then we can combine all of our circles. Negative five plus two is negative three. Negative three minus five is negative eight and negative eight plus two is negative six. So the perimeter of this rectangle, when we add up all the sides, we get 10 X minus six. Any questions on number one? Okay, number two, we're gonna also find the perimeter. This time it is a triangle, but nothing changes. So you wanna add up all the sides, combine your like terms and simplify. So go ahead and try number two. Okay, um, can I get a volunteer to tell me what the equation is that you set up? What did you, perimeter equals, what did you add up? Um, I, I added up A plus, plus four. Very good. Plus two A plus eight. Plus two A, Minus three. Excellent. Thank you, Savannah. Very good. 
Okay, and then once we have our equation set up, we just need to um, combine the like terms and simplify. So our like terms, we have our we have all of our a's, so we can box our a's, and then we have our integers: positive four, positive eight, and negative three that we can circle. Then we'll add up all of our a's. We have a plus two a. So that's three A's plus another two A's. That means we have five A's. And then we have four plus eight, which is 12. 12 minus three is nine. So the perimeter of this rectangle is five A plus nine. Any questions on number two? I'm a little confused on, on how you got nine again. Okay, yes. So we just added up um, the integers. So the, the, all the numbers that we had circled, so all of the circles. So we did four plus eight, which is 12. And then minus three, 12 minus three, and that's how we got nine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good, any other questions? Oh, and someone had the same question to Alex. So if, feel free to ask questions because there's probably other people with the same questions. Okay, number three, the perimeter of a square is eight X plus four. So find the length of its side. So a square, we know with a square, all of the sides are the same. more like a rectangle, but trying to draw a square. So we know that they all have to be the same. So we have to figure out what, if we add up, add up this value four times, what would give us eight X? So that same value. And then the same thing for four. What number can we add together four times and get four? So anyone wanna, anyone wanna take a guess? One. Okay, yes, we know it's gonna be have a one, a positive one. Good. Because that'll give us our four that we want. So if we do one plus one plus one plus one, that gives us our four. So how can we get, now how can we get eight X? All we need is our eight X. So what can we add four times to get eight X? Yep, very good, Bella, two X, because two X, plus two X is four X, plus two X is six X, plus two X is eight X. And it's a square, so remember they all had to be the same. So now if we add them all up, two X plus two X plus two X plus two X, that gives us our eight X, and we add up our ones, one plus one plus one plus one, that gives us the four. All right, any questions on number three? Okay, number four. The length of a rectangle is five less than twice its width. Write an expression to represent the perimeter. So it always helps to draw a picture. Okay, so the length of a rectangle is five less than twice its width. So we know we can just use W for the width. So here's our width. Now we need to write our length in terms of that. So it's five less than twice its width. So twice its width, we have to multiply two times W to make it twice the width. And then five less, are you gonna be adding five or taking away five? Since it's five less, it would say more if we wanted to add. It's five less, so we're gonna take away five. So then we know our length is two W minus five and our width is just W. 
So we have 2w minus 5. Okay, go ahead and um, write your expression for the perimeter. And then send it to me in the chat so I can see, make sure that we're understanding. So you're just writing the expression. So just like we did up here, you want to add up all the sides. So tell me what you get when you add up all the sides. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go over it. So if we add up all the sides, we have 2w minus 5 plus w plus 2w minus 5 plus w. And then we want to combine our like terms. So let's add up all the w's. So 2w plus w is 3w plus 2 is 5w's plus another w. There are six total w's. And then we have negative 5 and negative 5, which are like terms, which is negative 10. So the perimeter is 6w minus 10. Any questions on number four? All right, number five. So we're gonna use this picture to answer these questions below. So use the information given to find the missing sides. So it looks like we need to find this side right here and this side right here. So for this side, if we add this and this piece, then that would give us the total right here. So 2m plus 2m is 4m, and then 3 plus 5 is 8. So the total distance here is 4m plus 8. So that's one missing side. And then for this piece, I know the total distance here is 5m minus 2. And I know this part is 2m plus 3. So I have to figure out what can I add to 2m plus 3 to get 5m minus 2. So this side and this side add to this side, which is 5m minus 2. So 2m, how many more m's do I need to get to 5m? 3m, right, excellent. Thank you, Savannah. So that gives me my 5m. Now I need to get negative two. So what do I need to add to three up here to give me the negative two? Three plus what would give me negative two? So we know our answer is negative. So we're going to need it to be negative 
and a five because negative five plus three is negative two. So our other missing side is 3m minus 5. And so we can check 3m plus 2m. Yep, that gives me 5m. And negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. And that's exactly what we wanted. And then we need to find the perimeter. So now you need to add up all the sides. So we will start over here, 5m minus 2, and then 2m plus 3, and then this side, 3m minus 5, this side, 2m plus 5, this side, which is 2m plus 3, and this side, which is 4m plus 8. And then now we need to add up all of our m's and add up all of our numbers, just negative twos and threes. So 5m, we'll box all of the m's. And so this is what we mean by combining like terms. So someone had asked me, how do you combine like terms? Like terms, we're adding all of the things that have the same variable raised to the same power. So all of these have an M to the first power, which means we can simplify by combining all of them. So 5M plus 2M is 7M plus 3Ms is 10Ms plus 2Ms is 12 plus another two is 14 plus four is there's altogether 18 M's. So you're just adding their coefficients. You're just adding all the numbers in front of them. So five plus two plus three plus two plus two plus four, which is 18. So there's 18 M's. And then now we just add up all the integers. So we have negative two, we have positive three, we have negative five, positive five, positive three, and positive eight. So all of those are like terms, so we can add those together. Negative two plus three is one. One minus five is negative four. Negative four plus five is one. One plus three is four. Four plus eight is 12. So the perimeter is 18m plus 12. Any questions on B, how we got that? Okay. So C says, if the perimeter is 120, what is M? So now we know what perimeter is, what P is. We're going to substitute that in. So 120 equals 18M plus 12. And now we can solve to find M. So this goes all the way back to our first unit last semester, solving equations. So remember, we have to get the M all by itself. So to get rid of the 12, we need to subtract 12. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So we get 120 minus 12, which is 108, equals 18m. And so we need to get rid of the 18 in front of m. So we have to divide both sides by 18. And I did on my calculator, and so m equals 6. When you divide 108 by 18, you get 6.
And now substitute M and find the length of each side. So let's go ahead and just list all of our sides first. So we have 5m minus 2, and then we have 2m plus 3, and then we have 3m minus 5, 2m plus 5, 2m plus 3, and 4m plus 8. And so now we just need to, need to substitute six for M in all of these, and then we'll know the length of each side. So M equals six. So this is five times six minus two. Five times six is 30. 30 minus two is 28. So we know the side that's five M minus two, this side right here is 28. 2m plus 3, 2 times m, which is 6, plus 3, 2 times 6 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. So this side up here is 15. 3m minus 5, 3 times 6, so we're just substituting m, which is 6, into all of these um, expressions. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 5 is 13. So this side is 13. 2m plus 5. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. So this side is 17. 2m plus 3. 2 times 6 plus 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. So this side is 15. And our last side, 4m plus 8. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 8 is 32. So this side is 32. All right, any questions on page 65? Okay, I'll leave it there for a minute because I'm sure you guys are probably still copying it down. Okay, so we have 10 minutes. So I have a Kahoot that reviews just the multiplying, um, all the multiplying with boxes that we've done, or um, we can get started on page 60, the um, area application. We can work on the area application. So what would you guys rather do? <laughs> okay, we've got one vote. Anyone else wanna say there? Okay. <laughs> okay. So how about this? So the people, how about we do the Kahoot? Cause that'll be much quicker. So it, it won't take us very long to do the Kahoot. Um, we can do that. And then if you guys want to stay on, I have office hours from 11 to 12. So we could stay on and work on the area application after. But that way we'll end at 11 and then whoever wants to stay on and we can work on um, the area application, we can do that. Does that sound okay?
All right, let's do that. Okay, let me open up the Kahoot really quick. I just have one question about the area problem. Okay. Um, you just, just to find area, you just times the two uh, numbers given by themselves, right? You just yep. times. Okay. If it, yeah, as long as it's a rectangle, it's just the length times the width. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know where my Kahoot went. And I'll give you guys some extra credit too for playing the Kahoot. So It'll, you'll still get credit. So go to kahoot.it and then enter the game pin. It's 563701. I had a quick question also. Uh -huh. When are your office hours? They're right after this, so from 11 to 12. Uh, I won't be able to make it because I have other classes. Okay, that's no problem. So, oh, because you, you wanted to work on the area. I'll send you the recording. How about that? Okay, thank you. That sound good? Yeah. Okay. Can right. you send me the recording as well because I have other classes? Yes. Thank you. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with who we have. Okay, so you're going to be multiplying. All of these are practicing the multiplication, which we've been doing the last two weeks. So two times x plus three. We're just waiting on one more person. No, maybe not. There we go. Very good. 2x plus 6. 
All right, very good, Savannah. Savannah, Bella, Solomon, you guys were quick. Four times negative X plus seven. <laughs> oh bummer okay good job negative 4x plus 28 all right good job savannah kalenny jaden seconds. I think we're missing two. Oh, there we go. Good job, you guys. 8x squared minus 6x. All right, Savannah, Kaleni. I don't know who high is. Amari, good job, you guys. All right, now we have two by two boxes. x plus one times x plus three. Our last two, one more. Ooh, only five of you, good. X squared plus four X plus three. All right, Savannah, Kalenny, who's high? Me. Who said that? Savannah. Okay, Savannah. Our last two people. There's one, just one left. Here we go, very good. X squared minus eight X plus 15. All right, Savannah, Kaleni, other Savannah, Amari and Tiana, very good. I have to go because um, it's 11 o'clock. Okay, go ahead. Same. All right, bye guys, have a good day. Bye. How many more Kahoot questions are there? There's um eight total. So we're on number six. Okay. <laughs> you can go if you need to. No problem. I'm going to try to stay through it all. <laughs> I'm sorry. You kind of lagged out a little bit. I kind of didn't hear what you said. There was nothing. We have our last two answers. 
Or maybe we only have seven after people left. Uh, quick question. Was there an option to leave? Yeah, yeah, you can leave if you need to leave. It is 11 o'clock. Okay, I'll see you later then. Okay, bye, Alex. Ooh, okay, 2x squared plus 13x plus 6. Very good. Savannah Gill still in the lead. And then so the other Savannah and Kaleni. Very good. Mari and Bella. All right, now we're doing a two by three. This is what we did today. I have to go to, can I like? No problem. <laughs> Yeah, we did. All right, excellent. All right, and our last question. Ooh, okay, very good, the three of you. Let's see who won. All right, third place, Amari, good job. Second place, Savannah. And first place, Savannah Gill. And then Kaleni and Bella in fourth and fifth, good job. Okay. Okay, I'm going to switch what I'm sharing. So if you need to go, again, you can leave. If you guys want to stay on, we can work on the area application. So just stay on if you want to work on the area application, and we'll do that right now. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay, so area application. So remember to find the area. They're mostly, they're all rectangles. So um, the area of a rectangle, you just multiply the length times the width. So we'll use our two and five example again. So the area of this rectangle is we just multiply our length and our width, which is two times five. So the area of this rectangle would be 10. And then we can apply that to all of our rectangles here. So for number one, we need to find the area of this rectangle. It is um, four times two X minus seven. So it's kind of already set up for our boxes. We can just find the area. So four times two X is eight X. And then four times negative seven is negative 28. So the area here is eight X minus 28. Right, so I just separated this. So the two X went over this box and the negative seven over this box. All right, any questions on number one? <clears throat> okay, so then number two, we have 6a squared plus 7a minus one. So I'll relabel them, 6a squared, 7a and the minus one. So negative 2a times 6a squared. So negative two times positive six, that means it's negative 12. We have a squared times another a. So that's three a, so a to the third power. And then we have negative 2a times 7a. So negative two times seven is negative 14. And a times a, that's two a, so a squared. And then negative 2a times negative one. <laughs> okay, I'll come see when I'm done. Then we have negative 2a times negative one, which is positive 2a. So the area of this rectangle is negative 12a to the third power minus 14a squared plus 2a. So we just add up all of our boxes. Okay, the area of a rectangle is x squared minus x minus 20. If the length is x minus five, what is the width? So we know that one side is x minus five, and then we know that it equals x squared. These two boxes have to combine to negative x and then these multiply to negative 20. So we're gonna be working backwards. So we know that x times what equals x squared? That would have to be x times x. And then negative five times what would give us our negative 20? That would be our positive four. So the width. would be x plus four. Because when we multiply those, we get x squared minus x minus 20 when we simplify. Any questions on number three? Okay, number four, it says to find the area and perimeter of the basketball court below, which isn't below, it's over here. So to find the area, 
we need to just multiply the length times the width. So we're multiplying two times two, so we could use our two by two box. So three X plus 15 times five X plus 20. And I'm going to let you guys go ahead and try that. And then we'll go over it. And go ahead and do the perimeter also. Okay, so let's see. I'll have Amari, can you tell me what you got in the top two boxes? And then I'll have Glenny tell me what she got in the bottom two boxes. So for this first box, Amari, 3x times 5x, what did you get? Amari, are you there? Oh, sorry, I left the room. Okay. Um, okay, so did you do it or no? Do what? <laughs> the fill in these boxes? Uh, no, but I can do it right now. Okay. So 3x times 5x, what would you get? You get 15x or, or 15x squared. 15x squared, right. x times x, okay. x is good. And then what about 3x times 20? Um, 60x. Very good. And then Kaleni, what about for the bottom two boxes? What did you get? So 15 times 5x. Are you at 75x? Excellent. And then what about 15 times 20? 300. Very good. So then we would need to just combine these x's to give us 15x squared. And then 60 plus 75 is 120, 135x plus this last box, which is 300. Any questions how we got the area? Okay. And then how am I going to find the perimeter? How would I set up my perimeter expression? So Amari, what would we do? What do we need to add up to find the perimeter? I never figured that part out actually. <laughs> okay, Kaleni, do you know? No, I don't. So remember we just did all the perimeter. So remember you have to add up all the sides. So if this side's 5x plus 20, then we know this side's also 5x plus 20. If this one's 3x plus 15, then we know this side's also 3x plus 15. So to find the perimeter, we have to add up all those sides. So 3x plus 15 plus 5x plus 20 plus 3x plus 15 plus 5x plus 20. So we just add up the four sides for the perimeter. 
Okay. <laughs> I know the, the mixed in perimeter with the area. We were on, we had area on the brain. So we can add up all of our X's. So three plus five plus three plus five. We have 16 X's all together. And then we can add up 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 20. So we have 35 plus 15, which is 50 plus 20, which is 70. So our simplified perimeter is 16x plus 70. Okay, and then we have the same figure from this page. So we won't do the work again. We already know this one's for m plus eight. And then we already know that that one was 3m minus five. Okay, and then now we have to find the area of this. So we can divide it into two rectangles. So do you guys want me to divide it here? We could draw a line here or we could draw a line down here to make it into two rectangles. Do you guys have a preference? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So since I already accidentally marked it, we'll just make it into two rectangles right there. So we have to find the area of this first rectangle and the area of the second rectangle, and then we'll have to add them together. So for the first one, our sides are 2m plus 3 and 3m plus 5. We don't want to use the 5m minus 2, right? Because that, that includes this portion here. So that's why we're only going to use those two. And then we have to find the area of our bottom rectangle, which we need the total distance because it goes all the way from here to here. So that's gonna be 4m plus eight. And then we have to multiply that by our width here, which is 2m plus three. This one we don't need to use because that only includes a portion of our rectangle. We need to know all the way from here to here, which is why we're using the 4m plus eight. Okay, so Kaleni, can you find the area of our first rectangle? So this first box, and then Amari, go ahead and find the area of our second rectangle. So you do the second box.
You ready? Okay. What'd you get for this first box, Kalani? I got six and four. Excellent. What about the second one? Um, the second one, I got 10 and negative 10. I mean. Very good. And then I got a nine again. Good. And then I got a negative 15. Excellent. Very good. And then did you simplify it? Do you combine these, your 9M and your negative 10M? Not yet. Okay. So we could do that together. So then we got 6M squared, and then we'll combine these. So 9M take away 10M. So that would leave us with a negative M, and then our negative 15. Very good. And then Amari, what did you get for your boxes? Um, for four m times two m, I got um eight m. And for four, um, don't forget you're squared, right? Because it's m times m, so there's two of them, so eight m squared. Oh yeah. Okay, great. And then what about this one? For the second box, I got um, uh, twelve m. Mm -hmm. And that's a forty eight right there, right? Uh, no, it's a positive eight. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought it was 48. Okay, so what's eight times two M? Uh, 16 M. Okay, and then eight times three? Uh, 24. Very good. Okay, so we can combine our M's as we write our answer. So we'd have eight M squared, 16 M plus 12 M, which is 28 M's plus 24. Okay, so now we need to figure out the total area. So we need to add up the area of our two rectangles. So the area equals 6m squared minus m minus 15 plus 8m squared plus 28m plus 24. So we just have to add those all up. So we gotta identify our like terms. So we can add our m squared and our m squared. We can add our negative m and our positive 28m. And then we can add negative 15 and positive 24. So we just need to combine our like terms. So our rectangles, 6m squared and 8m squared, give us a total of 14m squared. And then we have negative m and 28m, which are like terms. So 28m's, you take away one of those m's, you have 27m's. And then we have negative 15 plus 24, which gives us positive nine. So the area of this whole, this little L we know is 14m squared plus 27m plus 9.